You know, I was raised in a church. My grandma sent us to church every Sunday, but I had no real relationship with Jesus. Like, mm-hmm. I just simply went to church because I was told I was supposed to go to church. You know, I knew that, you know, if I had a situation, if I was hurting or if there was, you know, something that I needed, you know, you're supposed to pray. I knew that, but I didn't have my own real relationship with Jesus. I didn't know him, and I didn't know me. Mm-hmm. I had no sense of self. Um... And it takes God to give us a sense of self. We can't find our ad- identity in nothing else. You know, we look for it as people in everything, in every area, in other people. We look for it through our parents. Like, you know, when you don't have pe- parents like raising you like you should, you look for it in the street. That's how so many of the brothers is like hood guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? My little brother is, is in jail. Like, both of my little brothers are incarcerated mm. because they looked for their identity in some man that they saw getting money on the street. You know, we can't never find our identity in anything besides God. You can't tell me that you know how something works that I that I made. I made it. How are you gonna tell me Amen. how it works? Right. Mm. God made us. He's the only one who can say, this is what you do. This is the purpose you was created for. This is why I made you. This is what you're supposed to do. This is what you're capable of doing. You can't find that in anything else. You can't find that anywhere else. Somebody says something about word curses. Sometimes we, you know, speak different things on our children. We got to be careful of stuff that we say because we start putting on them like, Oh, you so bad. Oh, you hard-headed. You don't listen. You ever, like, hear mothers in the world, like, yelling and talking like crazy to their kids? I hear mothers cussing at their kids. That drives me insane. Like, Mm. you speaking, like, bad things on your children. Like, how do you think that's going to make these kids grow up and be? You speaking harsh. Like, you speaking death on your children. Like, there's really power in the tongue. Like, so... And sometimes we, we form an identity based off of our upbringing. We form an identity based off of, you know, what somebody said back in the day. Somebody could have called you stupid, you know what I'm saying? And you grew up, and now you come in a different kind of way because now you feel like you dumb, like, because somebody said you were stupid. Somebody might have said you talk too much, like, my daughter is a talker. But I'll never tell my daughter you talk too much. Why would I shut down her gift? This is what God gave her. This is her identity of who Jesus Christ is. Like, he gave her a gift to talk. Gracie loves, like, who am I to say, no, you're too friendly. No, you talk too much. Like, why would I try to change who she is? We got to be careful when we talk to our children. You know, the enemy will have us think sometimes, like, you know, as Christians, because we, we've been through this. This kind of basic for us, you know what I'm saying? We got to kind of understand and know who we are. You know, we kind of been able to break off some of these old things that somebody said in our past. Like, maybe somebody told you, you too dark. You're beautiful. You know that now. Maybe before you might not have known that. You're too light. You know what I'm saying? But now, who you are today, you know, you know that truth about yourself. You don't hold on to those old things anymore. But now the enemy in your ear, like, you're a sinner. You're a sinner. No, you you just messed up. Like you can't go to God. You got dirt on your back. Like, stop. but God said, I'm a child of God. I'm a son. Like, Amen. So I can't take what the enemy t- t- trying to tell me, cause he didn't create me. He don't know who I am. He don't want me to come to the fullness of who I am, because he knows at that point I'm unstoppable. He don't want me to be all that God says that I am. He don't want me to be all that I've been created to be. That's his purpose. He's trying to stop it. So when he coming at you and you ain't you 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 home and you down and you sad and you going through. Some days we up, some days we down. So when he in your ear telling you, you know what I'm saying, you a sinner. Man, cast that thing down. I'm a child of God. Oh, God don't forgive you. The thing about it be like. He'll even let us know that God can forgive us. Like, oh, uh, you know, God can forgive you. But that's what he's trying to get on Jesus' life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he was telling Jesus, um, catch yourself down. You got angels. They, you good. Like, yeah. he tried to give Jesus the word. Like, 
Jesus like, nah, like I'm not supposed to, you know, tempt God. Like what you what you talking about? So the enemy will let you let you believe some of the stuff. He'll let you believe, yeah, you forgive it. But now in the back of your mind, he making it so that you can't forgive yourself. He messing with your identity. I'm forgiven. And I can go to my father. He making it so that I feel it so bad that I can't go to my father in prayer now. Like you ever been in that place? You did messed up. You messed up and you ashamed. Like, well, who else you supposed to go to? My creator. He created me. He knows how I'm supposed to move. Like, where I'm gonna get my instructions from? I gotta go to my creator. I gotta go to God. But the enemy don't want you to do that. So he in the back of your mind, like, you're not forgiven. I'm redeemed from the hand of the enemy. That's what the word said. I got scriptures, y'all. Share the scriptures with each other. But I'm redeemed and I'm forgiven. So he'll tell us, he'll let us think, you know. I don't know about y'all. I grew up in a Baptist church. I grew up in a Baptist church. So some of the things that they taught us, it was like, you know, um, basically, it said like, uh, you know, nobody can take you out of God's hands. Nobody can take you out of God's hands. But if I'm messing around and I'm not trying to do what I want to do, I can remove myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can remove myself. I can get away from everything that God has for me. I can totally say, I don't choose that identity. I choose something else. And I can walk away from my salvation. I can lay that thing on the shelf and be like, I'm not who God says that I am. I want to be the criminal, the the harlot, or whatever, whomever. I could walk away and say that thing, but God said I'm saved by grace. Like I don't have to choose that. I don't have to choose that. I can continue to go to God. Like I can keep going to God. That's where I'm created. That's all that I know. That's that's all. Everything about me is wrapped up in God and who God is. Um. So, like I said, you know, when Mo was incarcerated, I had no idea what I liked. Mm. We talking about how you know we ready for marriage. Do you even know who you are and what you bring to the table? You got to be able to bring something to the table. Like, if I get into this relationship and I only know everything he do, everything he likes, every, he can change my whole concept of everything. Mm. Like, once upon a time, I remember, like, my father-in-law, his wife, and Mo, they was having a conversation about some politics. And I'm sitting here, like, not knowing a doggone thing. And I was persuaded by everything they said, yo. Mm. And they was on opposite sides of the table the entire time. Like, I was like, dang, that's good. But what he said was right. But what you say? I was completely persuaded by everything that they said. And I was one way or the other. Like, I could have went with either one of them. Like, because I had no idea. I didn't have invested none of my own self into the thing. So, I said, well, God, I had no idea what they was talking about. And I said, research it. Learn something. Why are you going to be persuaded by somebody else? Like, allow me to minister to you. What I feel about a thing. Like, we always seeking a person's opinion on some stuff. But we need God's opinion. He's our creator. Like, if I'm coming to you, and sometimes there be situations that I'm going through, and I might come to you like, I don't know what to do about a thing, but y'all say, pray first. See God on the matter. What does God say about a thing? How does he feel about a thing? He's the one that created us. Like, what am I going to go to you for, and I ain't go to my creator and figure out how my creator feel about this thing? What's your opinion matter? What's the opinion matter? If, if my creator... If my creator says that I'm supposed to walk by faith and not by sight, what does your opinion matter when you're telling me it's blue if God telling me it's red? Mm. Your opinion means nothing. But I'm coming to you because I don't know I mean, what. I don't know my creator. I don't know that I'm supposed to submit myself to him and, and figure out his ways and understand what he thinks and understand his heart. Or I'm just like, oh, I'm just good. I'm just going to figure out because I can see you. That be people's problems sometimes, like, it's tangible, you know? Sometimes they don't want to, like, experience that supernatural, that unknown, because it's right here. Like, I can see this, I can understand this, this is what it is. But he's our creator, like, he knows perfect. So we seeking counsel 
and some it's good counsel sometimes, y'all. It's good counsel sometimes. But if we we need to go to God first and foremost before we go through any other channel. He got stuff set up for us. There is resources and um, tools and things that we got on the side. He got it all set up for us, like especially in the cloth, like especially amongst us. But we gotta go to God first, like. I need to know his opinion on the matter. And I wanted to say about us personally, like, you ever been in a place in a church or, I have never been in a fellowship such as this before, but in church, like, I just remember being in church and just being like by myself and like kind of like just there but not there, don't really know, I got to do it how they do it because I don't know how else to do it. Like, I tell Mo all the time, I was never free to worship like I'm free to worship. Mm, I Lord. never knew what worship was mm. like this. Like, if I went to church and everybody was worshiping, I needed to stand in the back of the church so that I can somehow wow. lift my hands. Mm. Mm. Because I don't want to be standing in front of Jamal like, am I supposed to lift my hands? Like, what's he think? Like, is this the part that he would lift his hands on? Like, that's what my, I'm watching people in church. Mm. Like, mm. My God. I've never been free to worship as I am here. Like, yo, yeah. snotting and crying like I love it here. Like, what we did today was beautiful, like, because I've never felt free to do that anywhere else. Thank I remember the first time here that I was like, okay, forget them. Forget what they doing. Because y'all getting breakthroughs, like, and I'm in the background like, uh, you supposed to lift your hands at this point? You know what I mean? So just that liberty to be myself and worship God how I worship God. I want to say that we all bring something different to the table. Amen. There's been so many times I've been trying to be like somebody else. They mm. pray good. They sing good. They do this good. They do this well. They talk good. Like It's been so many times that I've measured my own capabilities according to what somebody else mm -hmm. was doing. Mm. I didn't like some of the girls you came with because I was measuring myself up to how they were. Mm. They pray real eloquently. Like every time you open your mouth in your prayer, I know that's a scripture, but I don't pray that way. And I was measuring myself to them, but God didn't call me to be them. Amen. He didn't say Regina imitate them. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I'm an imitator of that Jesus. Thing. That's right. That's Lord. right. And we yeah, all yeah. bring something different. And we joke on Sean a lot. I joke on Sean a lot. But ain't nobody else bringing what Sean brings right? to the fellowship, Amen. to the kingdom. Ain't nobody bringing what he brings. Like, so sometimes, like, if we feel like Sierra, I'm gonna use you for an example. When I started the women's line and Kita was going ham on her on her uh, serenity, Tierra said, "Y'all kind of like encouraged me to like start doing something." Like she said, "I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something, and I should start start on what God gave me." And that's when you really started going ham on uh, healing rooms. But it wasn't like, "Oh, I see they doing something. They doing something good." It's it's great like that we got amongst ourselves like oh she's doing well but you encouraging me to be me to do what Amen. God gave me not like I gotta do it like you do it she got a right. business she got a business she wasn't trying to be like Keita's business she wanted to do what God gave her Amen. and she sought God and here she is today with healing roots but imagine she trying to do it like the way Keita did it like trying to go about it the whole way he did. It ain't going to work. You don't need two serenities in Christ. <laughs> we needed a serenity in Christ and we needed a healing room. So when I started that, that line or whatever, I was like, man, it's not going to be like Mo line. I ain't supposed to be like Mo line. First of all, I'm the woman. That's not that's the issue. We got different things to talk about, different things to share. You know what I mean? So it ain't supposed to be like him. Like, and I felt like my voice was got, wasn't going to be, I didn't feel like I had so much stuff to say. I'm like, man, I'll give y'all 15 minutes. I ain't got no hour. I didn't feel like I had anything, but I had to see God. He's my creator. He gave it to me, like. He, every week, gave me something to talk about. He gave me something to share. Blessing. 
But I had to seek my creator. I couldn't do it the way Mo did. Amen. That, the, the, at that time, what was they? Was that the round table at that time? Yes, mm -hmm. round table. It was successful and it was a beautiful thing, but I couldn't do it that way. I can't, I could not duplicate that because God didn't tell me go do it like Mo did. I'm giving you something, daughter. I want you to do it this kind of way. And I had to seek God, my creator. He knows how I'm supposed to come. And it was so wonderful because it was so, people were so receptive of my voice. Like, Amen. And I meanwhile, I'm like, I don't pray well enough. But people text me like, yo, that prayer was a blessing. Mm -hmm. Was it? I didn't know. Like, it was that great. Like, oh, what you shared was so good. Like, I love my sister Z. Like, the fact that you nominated me for this award, like, that thing is crazy to me. Like. It, it truly doesn't even make sense to me, like, that I could be nominated for an award because of that, like, that's, that's a blessing, like, because I didn't think I could do it. Mm. You don't even understand, like, your mind is so relatable. Amen. Like, you don't come from a place of, like, up here talking down. You're, like, at a place where we can relate to you. You know, where we can be open and honest and share things and not feel judged. Like, I'm on that front crying. And to have that ability to open up and just cry to women that don't judge me and, in fact, like, share similar stories, like, that's a blessing. And that line is a blessing, whether it's 15 minutes or an hour. Like, Amen. it touches so many people. And it helped me, too, be stronger in my walk. You know, I know there's so many people struggling with the same thing. So, I mean, it's deserve it. Praise God. Amen. Amen. But I couldn't have been no help to nobody if I wasn't being Regina. Sometimes <laughs> we laugh because we got a little thing going amongst ourselves of who's who in the group, right? I said I'm the mean one. They like, you're not the mean one, you the real one. Like, yeah. you just gonna tell it like it is. It's like, <laughs> she's silly. <one. laughs> and she no nonsense, like, but. We couldn't be who we are if we all trying to duplicate the same Amen. thing. Like Amen. we all bringing something different to the kingdom. That's how you make up the body. Like Amen. we can't all be walking around as the foot. Yeah. He didn't create us all as the foot. Like so, the enemy coming. Like I'm winning. I'm I'm the winner. You're losing. Well, no, because God told me I am daily overcoming the devil. Like, Amen. Amen. I'm an overcomer. So sometimes we got to cast down, you know, when the enemy comes and he start whispering different things in your ear, trying to tell you who you are. No, not sometimes. Every time the enemy comes trying to tell you who you are, you got to cast that thing down. And he'll come using the word. He did it to Jesus. Well, he out of line with it. Like, he perverted it. Like, that thing is askew. Like, they ain't right. He ain't 100 with that. Like, you got to combat that thing with, with what God says that we are. God says that because he created us. He knows exactly what your purpose is. He knows exactly what you were created to do. And we got to build up our children in that same manner. Amen. We got, I love Nikki. Like, when she talk to her girls, they do declarations and stuff that they do. Like, she not telling them they the same type of things that the world is telling them. Like, the world coming... That's why I laugh so much when you be like, Jesus, she is cute. She is cute. But that's enough of that. Like, <laughs> but she is cute, but she's a little child of God. Like, I'm talking about grace. You know what I'm saying? Build them up in what God says they, they are. You know what I mean? Because somebody keep telling her, oh, she's so cute. Oh, she's so cute. Like, then you get in the world, and that's all you using. Because all you know is I'm so cute. My thing, my hair is long. I was loving to be the, the, the black girl with the longest and not a light skinned girl with the longest hair. Like, you feel me? I'll milk that thing. Like, hey, my hair long. And that was my identity in high school. Like, if y'all didn't know nothing else about me, who, Regina with the long hair? Yep, that's me. And I was good with that. Like, well, how you good with that? That's all that I have to offer. Like, but God has done uh, something so amazing in us, like, in, in us, in the cloth, like, God is doing something so amazing because he's showing us who we are. I love that you said you're glad that you didn't get married before you knew who you were. You don't have anything to bring to the table, like, if you have no idea who you are, whose you are. 
I don't even know how people of the world get by not knowing who they are. Like, how you even living? Like, how you making daily decisions? Like, how you? I don't get it. It does. It's just like weird to me. Like, even before I came into the fullness of who Jesus is, like, I still had an idea of who He was. Like, I wasn't just totally out there lost and not knowing yeah. that there is something greater. You know what I mean? But there's people out there that don't think there's nothing greater. Like, this is me. This is it. This is. Me don't have no identity like and can be persuaded with the blowing of the wind but we're not easily easily persuaded anymore. Like, you can't persuade a muslim can't come through and persuade me because like, i know who my creator is like i know jesus and i have a relationship when they was coming at her on facebook it was more like a religious type of thing like but she has a relationship so maybe what you, the teachings that you had on your um uh the uh what's the stuff the sages, sages smudges and all of that like maybe from the world perspective it looked a certain kind of way it looked a certain kind of way and if I didn't know who God was I could be easily persuaded that ain't right she ain't right that's because because that when you posted that right I was looking at it for a second like I'm gonna be honest I'm just looking at it, I'm like type of like voodoo doo, 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 and like the enemy was planted down in my head at first and I'm like you guys should talk to you guys about that but God said no like research it in the Bible like and I was like you know what you're right God and then I went in the Bible and read about it like they would do with like the burnt offerings with the ed, ed, um, incense and all of that stuff I was like wow God like they did use like incense in the yeah. Old Testament and all and that stuff and that's what I was trying to explain yeah. to the girl and she just was not trying yeah. I, mean, I, I was a bitch those comments. I was no, a bitch. I didn't read those comments but at first like, it's so true like being easily persuaded the enemy's like planning stuff in my head like boo doo doo I'm like nah and the God's like research it for yourself and like I was like wow like and learn and have an understanding. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't go off can't like your first thought. Yeah, man. Exactly. So I just love y'all because we all bring a different dimension to the fellowship. Like, we joking on each other. We've been having a good old time. Oh, <laughs> yeah. we all been going ham. Yeah. Joking on each other. I didn't comment because my phone yeah, let me comment in the uh, best of my Best Z video was so hilarious. Like, you think, like, man, in order for me to be successful, 
successful, I need to be a minister. I need to be a prophet. I need to be the lead group um, church leader. You know, we start base our ideas of success in the kingdom as looking in the church. When you could be um, success for you, for you would be like a janitor, you know, or even be a baker. And we don't like the church doesn't, yeah, or even being like somebody that just stands on the street corner and says hi to everybody every single day and like like success in the world is like big money and cars and stuff yeah. and we started to adopt this idea in the church now or, or like building stuff that in order to be successful in the kingdom we need to have a title mm. you know but we forget about the background people if you're easy yeah. it's important if you do you know videography or if you just write on um, stories you know what I mean like all those things matter and that's your identity and that's where you prosper like doing what God has called you to do and if he's called you to just sit on the corner and wave hi to people like you got we gotta embrace that because it's gonna it's gonna touch so many people's lives but amen to that too like comparison the knowledge that you did when she was saying just be what God calls you to be it on purpose and you was like, even if God called you just to be a mom or a sister, be what God called you to be, but do it in the full capacity of it. And that reminded me of that, because if you think being just a mom or being just a sister, you know, that's not nothing. But the, you could be raising your prophets and apostles because you were the mom that God called you to be. Look for what you raised. Or because I'm that sister that God called me to be. You know, I might be the only person that you feel comfortable venting to. Mm. And if you never vented to me, I could have went and killed myself. Mm. I could have went and did drugs. Amen. And I remember you was talking about that on the line of purpose. It's just being what God called you to be, but but doing it in the full capacity of what He called you to be. Amen. I forget what scripture it is, but whatever you, the scripture says, whatever you find your, your hands doing, do it with your might. Amen. I forget what scripture it is, though, but that's absolutely true. Amen. Just how. Y'all two, it's funny that y'all sitting together. <laughs> when y'all came to the first Then they started looking like it. Y'all didn't, <laughs> <laughs> didn't really talk much. Like, you could totally miss that Chelsea was here. Oh my Chelsea God. was yes. sitting right here. She didn't know your name I'm for the longest time. Oh, God. We could totally <laughs> miss that she was here. Right? Right? right at the right. <laughs> Like, Y'all would come, you would sit right over there in that corner, you wouldn't say nothing. We know you was here because your baby. Because <laughs> your baby. Chelsea sit right there, and the only way I knew Chelsea was here because I see her peek over and just, you know, shake her head like that was something good. Right. You shared something good. Or but say, you ain't really talking nothing. Like, Y'all ain't really saying too much of nothing or whatever. Like, so you could be totally missed that you two was here. But look who y'all are. Like, if y'all didn't come and be yourselves and, and have your own identity, like, we could have missed so much. Like, Amen. yo, when you worship Chelsea, oh, man. man. That thing be a fire life. Mm. That thing, yo, it's so Chelsea. Mm. When we went and we did like that evangelism at the train station, I was like, who the heck is yes. this girl? I was like, who with her though? So I would try to be like, oh, hey, love y'all. Chelsea still ministered. I'm like, oh, let me go She had a whole sermon or two. And like, it was beautiful. Blessing. Like, who the heck is this girl? Like, you never just stepped up and just yes. been Chelsea like we would have been missing a whole lot like mm. yeah. you yeah. might not think I received from you when you made that phone call <laughs> I received what you said I I took what you said I prayed about what you said and I said God if there's anything like you, let, let it be like let it be known like you you come with your dreams and you always excuse it. Like me and these dreams. Mm -hmm. Don't excuse mm -hmm. that. Like, mm. Don't excuse who God say that you are. Like mm -hmm. that's who you are and that's what you bring. And Amen. That's what you bring. Martina with your slick mouth and your cut ins, like in your comedy, like <laughs> Is that all that I am? <laughs> but who you was once upon a time ago and who you are today, like, that's a blessing, like. You are like there couldn't be another Marquita in this fellowship, like y'all already know trumpet and crying over there. <laughs> <laughs> there could never be another one of you two, like Nikki, like hey my girl, hey, my girl Nick, like there could never be another Nikki, like no, you said. You said the 
worship because you from my prayer, but you set me off. Mm. You set me off. You but who gonna set me off if you ain't here? Like if you're trying to be like your seat. Like, mm. <laughs> Praise God that you Nikki and you being yourself. Amen. Sister Tierra. <laughs> We coming with healing and laying on of hands and praying. Well, God gave you something different. Like, Amen. God gave you something different. It fit and it's good. Like, but if you didn't come and be who you are, like, we'd be missing the element. Like, I, my, my elbows need you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Glory. Yeah. 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 My elbows need our dreams. Our like, boy, oh. Lord. <laughs> I could be the best Regina that I am. If it wasn't for your cream or your elbows. I'm going to say, where her butter at? <laughs> I got yours in my bag. <laughs> Chelsea got real serious. Chelsea got real serious. She got real serious. And, and Matt, we be missing that. That video. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and every so picture. We miss that. all of that. <laughs> Like, Mo, like, God Amen. said, Matt, Matt, like, and you Amen. had a great dimension, like, mm. you bring something way different, and it, it was crazy is, we all bring all of this difference, Amen. but we all fit. Yes. Like, there's no outsider here, like, yeah, and we can all be 100% who God said that we are, like, we don't gotta fake no funk, y'all say I'm real. Cause you know I'm cutting sometimes when I come and I say some stuff. Mm -hmm. And it's in love. I love you. Oh my God. Uh, cut friendship. Oh gosh. And I ain't gonna confess. Like, listen. <laughs> but if I couldn't be who I am. But if I couldn't be who I am. And come to you how I can come to you. Like, yeah. You could never you truly be able to receive much from me. Cause I'll be trying to sugarcoat some stuff for you. Like, mm. That ain't real. It's not even gonna be sincere like mm. it's not even gonna be sincere it's gonna be all half and faith because I, I i don't want to be me but god said this who you is daughter and so y'all gonna have to have some tough skin when dealing with the daughter because <laughs> that's who god says that i am like mm. and i shouldn't have to sugarcoat it. and i praise god that i don't have to sugarcoat it with y'all like, but so you I got, want somebody like like that like man right this is crazy you don't want like we're in the wrong or something like we want that. Correct me. Right. 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 Tell me it's when I'm gonna take on me and Z. Cause I'm gonna cut you a little bit, but Z gonna yeah. come behind you and hug you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Church of like, oh, I can't worship. Mm. God is training me up here. Like, yeah. no, Amen. worship how you worship, Amen. though. Amen. You ain't gotta do it like they do. And it was crazy, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful thing to see some of y'all get down on your knees and, and worship God. But then there's some people over here standing up with their hands lifted down. I'm in the kitchen, like, but I was free to be me and do Amen. it how I do it. I didn't have to do it. Right. And, and it was what? what? Amen. The world has told me that I am. Because the world could have told me some stuff about myself. The world, like, you know what I mean? 
don't nobody want to be around. This some, some guy told me you ain't in a relationship because you t uh, you're intimidating. Like, mm. dang, like that's me. And I could have took that and ran with that thing, like, and then just been a whole different person than who God says that I am. No, I'm mm. strong because that's the way God made me. Like, I'm not. I'm not going to accept any old thing. I'm not intimidating. Like, and if you feel intimidated by me, that's because you ain't him. Mm. Come on. You know, oh, so, so that's in place. Okay, <laughs> and it, it's gonna take him to put it in place. Like, <laughs> so I'm just gonna read through a couple of these, um, a couple of these scriptures. And if I y'all got, if uh, y'all can give me y'all email, I'll email it to y'all so y'all can um, have the list of the IMs. Okay. It's a lot. You know, right? <laughs> so the enemy coming, like, oh, you're just the oldest <clears throat> Tina. You're mean and you're selfish and you're a sinner. And you're all this, but God says I am a child of God. Amen. I'm gonna text y'all the uh, scriptures. Or you want me to say that? Are we on Periscope? Yeah. Oh my my my. <laughs> <laughs> Been on since the first words you released. Oh my my my. Okay. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> the enemy telling us he went in. You know, we in his camp. We doing what he want us to do. I am redeemed from the hands of Hallelujah. the enemy. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm enemy coming, you ain't forgiven. You can't even forgive yourself. I am forgiven. Yes. Amen. I am saved by grace through faith. I am justified. I am sanctified. Mm. I am a new creature. I'm mm. not that old again. You can't come with that. Mm. I'm a new creature. I am a partaker of his divine nature. I am redeemed from the curse of the law. Hallelujah. Them generational curses. Yes. I'm, I'm redeemed. Like, I'm new. Like, God says that I am um, I am delivered from the powers of darkness. I am led by the Spirit of God. The enemy comes sometimes and be like, uh, you're bound. Mm. You're bound by old relationships, old friendships, old ways of thinking, but God says that I am free. Amen. I am strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I am an heir of God and joint heir with Jesus. I am an heir to the blessings of Abraham. I am blessed coming in and going out. I am an heir of eternal life. I am blessed with all spiritual blessings. I am healed by his stripes. When uh, Matt and, I mean Matt, sorry, sorry. <laughs> when Joe and Shamara got married and they said through sickness and the health, they didn't claim that thing at all. They said there would be no sickness. Mm. I am that was a blessing. I am exercising my authority over the enemy. We don't have to be slaves. Like, I'm exercising my authority over the enemy. I am above and not beneath. I am more than a conqueror. I am establishing God's word here on earth. I am an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. I am daily overcoming. I am not moved by what I see. Yes. That'd be a trick of the enemy. Like, you know, you see some stuff and you get terrified. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's where your fears come in. But I say I'm not moved by that. Yeah. I'm not moved by what I can see. Like, sometimes it takes me not being able to see to believe. Like, mm. some the world say, show me, and then I'll believe it. Well, Christians say, I believe it, God. Until you show it to me, God. Mm -hmm. And you'll do that thing. I am walking by faith and not by sight. I am casting down vain imaginations. Yes. I am bringing every thought into captivity. Some of these thoughts that the enemy like come at y'all with, like, no, like, I'm bringing that thing into captivity. Like, I don't have to think like that. I am being transformed by the renewing of my mind. Yeah. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Yeah. I am an imitator of Jesus. And I am the light of the world. Amen. 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 That sound like a poem. Like, <laughs> yo, you gotta type that out. It's typed. I'll email it to y'all. <laughs> Amen. What you gonna title it? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <laughs> Amen. 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 So is this closing up? Amen. Yes. All right. All right. All right. Thank you for everybody yeah. who tuned in. Yeah. Do anybody want to share anything? Oh uh, yeah. I am. 
Amen, Marquita. Got two phones. That's like a declaration poem, though. You wake up and say that. This used to hang on my wall, but that was something that I. Yeah, that's, Amen. That's what I was going to need it for. I need that yeah. for my vision board. Amen. 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 That's what I look at every day. I make mean, sure that's something like the um. Mo gave us the packets a couple months ago. A couple of his scriptures and things like I clicked them, and they were on the outside of my vision board. So I read those, and then like when I open it up, I got all my little things on my vision board. But Is I mean, it virtual vision? Yeah. I have a big vision. The night of my party, I had the big poster thing that I was on the table. Oh, That's yeah. what helped me start everything. Oh, amen. I wanted to do one of those for ladies' night. You can do it from the yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, I'm signing our prayer scope. Y'all can say bye now. Bye.